this is Greg Rakestraw, and you're watching the UND Experience. We're doing this once a month from the Donatos at Madison and Edgewood, just south of the University of Indianapolis campus. For those that kind of follow the professional game, this isn't like, you know, high school and college is not where you're like the pros, like you're limited to three subs in a game. You That's normally right. have multiple <laughs> substitutions in both halves, especially in warm conditions early in the season. How are your girls handling it from a fitness standpoint? I'd like to say we're fit, but are we ever fit enough? That's the big question. Um, I think we're, we're better where we're at now, and I owe that to our captains. And, um, you know, the overall mentality that our girls have this year has been fantastic. And anytime you have a group of girls that have the same common cause and the same goal, you're, you're looking for great things. Uh, tell us about uh, your senior leadership. What sort of leadership you get on this crew so far? You know, our leadership comes from all of our classes. Really, we have we have a great freshman class, and um, but it does start from the top down, and I'm a big believer in that. Um, our seniors have done a fantastic job of, of corralling, you know, the girls and getting them in. Our junior class um, is fantastic as well. You're going to talk to a couple of them, Stacy Clinney and uh, Katie Crump, and you know, those two are great impact on what our leadership is. And, and Caitlin Bronig, who's a senior, and Nicole Duncan, who we're hoping to get back great leaders themselves. Chemistry is, is big in every sport, but it would seem to me when, when so much work goes into scoring just one goal or defending to make sure a goal isn't scored, chemistry has to be huge yeah. in your sport. Your thoughts? Definitely. Um, I feel like chemistry is like one of the biggest things and I feel like this year we have like the best chemistry I've ever personally had mm -hmm. on this on um, UND women's soccer team and I think part of that is because of like how open everyone is and we had captains practices before our preseason which was like a laid back practices and it was just with the team and we all got to know each other and it was really great and I feel like our chemistry is just there and it's exciting. Let's talk about how things are going for you in the classroom. What's your major here at UND? Um, I'm a psychology pre-OT major. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which got, which means you've got another year at least of school once you're done with your soccer right. days, correct? Right. And so I apply this fall for um, OT grad school here at UND. And if I get in, then um, I won't graduate, so I have one more year of eligibility. But I'll just start grad school next year. All right. What does uh, kind of kind of the time management? Every student athlete goes goes through right. that, but being part of a very difficult academic program, how have you balanced the two over the years? Um, I feel like almost having soccer is easier for me to balance my schedule yep. because it forces me to get stuff done before this time. Now in spring it's like, okay, yeah, I don't have anything today, I'll just sleep all day. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but having soccer it's like, okay, I really have to get this done. I mean, I have like school all day, then practice until five. Like, I have to get my stuff done. I know in talking with Stacy, she said that she felt the chemistry of this team was outstanding. I want to get mm -hmm. your thoughts on that. I think I agree with Stacy as well. I think out of the three years I've been here that this is the best rapport mm -hmm. that a team has had um, on and off the field. It's just a great atmosphere, and it's just an awesome feeling stepping onto that field um, with every single one of those girls. And it's just a lot of fun to be out there playing with. Growing up and going to Yorktown High School, so you're about an hour or so away from, from, from the school. So mm -hmm. not that close to home, but not that far away either. Tell us why you felt that UND was the right place for you. Um, I think that was one of the reasons UND um, Indianapolis one is a great city and it's only an hour away from home so not too far mm -hmm. and not too close um, but I also loved when I visited UND what made it stand out was just the community mm -hmm. and like the whole feel of it from the from the staff um, like professors from the coaching staff from the teammates I really felt welcomed and I really felt like it was a family and I really did feel that chemistry coming in. As always, thanks to the great folks at Donato's for hosting us for the UND Experience, located on the corner of Madison and Edgewood, just south of the University of Indianapolis campus. Of course, you can watch these features as many times as you'd like by going to the official athletic website of the University of Indianapolis, athletics.und.edu, where you can follow all 21 
UND's intercollegiate athletics programs.